I think it's safe to say, King, that he's not at 100% after that brutal assault before the match started. Yeah, I think that's safe. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable night. I'm Michael Cole alongside my broadcast partner, Jerry the King Lawler. And King, we're getting things started with what should be an outstanding match. Yeah, Michael, I don't know who's looking forward to it more, this capacity crowd or me. We're starting off strong, Michael, and things are just going to keep getting better. been said already everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here let's just sit back and enjoy if our, that's it he's done Five. Six. Rest high in the air well the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival the match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk two. out victorious. Who will it be? Three. Uh-oh, that looked ugly. Four. I mean, and it sounded even worse. Yeah, that really had to hurt. As King mentioned earlier, Arn Anderson's spine buster can end this match at any moment, but so can his DDT. Six. Let's not forget about that. Well, of course, we've seen Double A finish off many a competitor with the DDT. But when it comes to the most lethal move in his arsenal, it has to be the Spine Buster. Three! Hey, that's using your head. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so Two. important in a match like this. John, there's times Three. when I'd say that Arnie Anderson's greatness is unfortunately overlooked. What do you attribute that to? Four. When you're hanging around the likes of Ric Flair and the rest of the Four Horsemen, it's easy to be Five. overlooked, Michael. But make no mistake about it. Arn Anderson is as tough as Six. they come. Now back to the ring. Seven. Look at this, Arn Anderson doing some good work here. He's impressive when he gets on a roll like this. Bad news for Arn Anderson. Yeah, real bad. The shoulder taking the brunt of the punishment here. Speaking of the four horsemen, which JBL brought up earlier, I believe it's Arn Anderson who is credited with naming the now legendary faction. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in on this exciting Saturday night. We have plenty of WWE action for your viewing pleasure. I bet they could hear that one up in the rafters. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Six. He doesn't want to win this one outside the ring. Because he's a pro king, he wants to get it done inside. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. There's the clothesline. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Will it be enough for the win?
You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. The choke slam ain't gonna be long now. <laughs> right, his minutes are numbered. This should do it right there. I think this is it. And quickly back to the floor. He one. did it. What a huge win. Oh, come on. That's enough. He's defenseless. He looks intent on humiliating and injuring his opponent. The rivalry between these two superstars is becoming dangerous as their bad history continues to grow.